Yeah. Hi, and welcome to the University of New South Wales and the School of Mathematics and Statistics. My name is Thomas Britz, and I'll be looking at this pro uh, problem number 27 in the course Math 3411. This problem deals with uh, uniquely decompo uh, decomposable codes, in particular instantaneous codes. So they are the codes that are easy to decompress or decode, and they, <coughs> they can be given by the radix that we're talking about, or the radix, and also the code word lengths, in this case, uh, one, two, three, 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 so we've got five code words, one of which has length one, and then we have uh, four more of lengths two, and uh, three, three, three. So the question in this, in this problem is, <coughs> does such a code exist? And we can use the Kraft-Macmillan theorem very easily to determine whether it exists. And all we need to do is take the radix there and say 1 over this radix, 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 to the power of 2 plus 1 over 2 to the power of 3. And in fact we have three of these terms, so let's just briefly collect them like this. And then we have to see whether this sum is less than or equal to 1 or whether it's not. Let's do that. So a half plus a quarter plus three eighths, and that gives us nine eighths, and that's greater than one. So the Kraft Macmillan theorem then gives us that there is no such code over Radix 2 with these code word lengths. So that's the answer to part A. Now we can answer it in a different way too. Supposing that we didn't know that this code or such a code um, exists, uh, existed or not, and then we could try to uh, just construct one. And the way that we do that is just draw a decision tree, maybe in the standard way. So we'd start off by having a vertex here and branching off to zero. That's the first code word already taken care of. Here we go. Now we need a code word of length two, so we branch downwards to one, and then we continue on to the first one with zero again. Oh, there we have the second code word. Now we need one of length three, so we branch down here, and each branching has two possible branches, by the radix being equal to two. So here's one, one, and we wanted one of length three, so now we're going to zero, so we have a code word one, one, zero, and then we want another one of length three, one, 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 but we still have one more code word of length three to, uh, to construct, and we can't. Uh, there are no more possibilities for branching out from these nodes here. We've used all the possibilities. So we can encode the first four, and here, here are the code words, but we can't do the third one, and that's reflected in this number two, because three, well, that's the, uh, the eighth that we have too much of. In other words, we'd, we'd need one more branch here, but we can't do that because we're just dealing with Radix 2. We only have zeros and ones to deal with. So now in part B, we're still dealing with Radix 2, but now we have seven code words, each of length 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, respectively. And the question is again, can we construct an instantaneous code with these parameters, with that Radix and those code word lengths? And we could quickly check whether we can by the Kraft-Macmillan theorem by just saying um, <coughs> 2 to the power of 2, um, and we've got two of those, plus 2 to the power of 3, and we've got two of those as well, plus 3 divided by 2 to the power of 4, and that gives us uh, a half plus a quarter plus just under uh, another quarter, uh, we can see there, 15 sixteenths, which is less than one. So apparently we can, by the Kraft-Macmillan theorem, find, uh, find an instantaneous code with these code word lengths. And in fact, well, the problem asks us to find them, so let, let's do that. If you sort of had a good guess that it might be possible to construct one of these, you could just skip this and just try to construct it. Given that the first answer was 
no you can't, then the answer to B here is probably going to be yes you can. But you can still use the Kraft Macmillan theorem if you want. So let's try to construct the, uh, such a code. So again we start off with the root of this tree that we're using and we're looking at radix 2 so we can go up or down 1. So let's start with going up to 0 and we need a code word of length 2 so let's continue up so that gives us our first code word. For the second one we just choose the next in line which is this node here so we have 0 1 and we can't use these nodes anymore they are spent so let's go down here and we need one of a code word of length 3 and here we have one 0 1 0 0 we no need another one of length 3 and that's 1 0 1 and then one of length 4 and we can't use these anymore so let's branch off here 0 0 and we've got we can do two of them here so 1 1 0 0 and then that one is the same except for the last digit and finally the last four we can branch off from this node so we have one and then we're just using a single node here which would then be one 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 zero and there we're done the the code that we now have can be written up like this zero 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 one one zero zero one zero one 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 zero zero one one zero one and one 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 zero so this is our code now if we look at this code then <coughs> we can improve it a little bit and we saw saw that um, sum before of the fractions giving 15 sixteenths so it wasn't quite one and that number reflects the fact that we can compress this code just a little bit and here you see this branch here that goes uh, from the root to 1, 1, 1 and 0. Well, we could for instance get rid of this node and have a slightly shorter code which would then just be 1, 1, 1 and that would be a more compact code. It would give us a, a slightly shorter average length and now if you do the a corresponding sum that we did in the beginning you'd exactly just get one and that just means that we've used a hundred percent of this uh, binary tree so this is an optimal code in that respect it's got minimal average length now okay let's move on to part C in part C we have radix 3 now instead of 2 as in the previous parts and we have these code word lengths and uh, <coughs> We could uh, do the sum of fractions as before to see whether uh, the, uh, a code, an instantaneous code like this exists or we could just uh, jump, uh, jump <laughs> straight into trying to draw one or construct one. So first of all let's try to get a code of length 1. Well that's easy. Now we've got three branches to deal with but it begins the same way. Let's try to just take zero so there's our first code word now we want one of length two so we go down to one now and move on to the first, uh, first no node from there which is just zero so we have one zero now we want a code word of length three so let's go this way now to one and then to zero so we have one one zero and then we have a bunch more a whole lot more of these three length code words so we in fact have seven of them so we need six more here so we can find two more like this one and two so one 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 two and here we've actually got another node that we haven't used yet for two and this has again three possible nodes available so 0, 1, 2. So 
we have code words one two zero, one two one, and one two two. That's almost all the code words we need. We just need the final code word there, which is, for instance, two zero zero. Now it looks a little bit messy, but I hope you can still read it. Two zero zero, and there we're done. So that was that was quite easy. Let's see, we've got the code word zero, one zero, one one zero, one one one, one one two, one one, one, what, <laughs> might continue down here, uh, one two zero, one two one, one two two, and two zero zero, and there are our code words. How many do we have? We have nine, and there are nine there. Perfect. So, <clears throat> if we were to calculate the uh, constant in cr the kraft macmillan theorem, we have one over three to the power of one, then we have one over three to the power of two, plus seven terms that are one, to one over three to the power of three, so seven of those. So if we want to calculate that, well, we get, in terms of 27ths, we have seven there, we have three there and nine there. So that's 19 27ths. Is that correct? We have nine there, we have three there, so that's 12 plus seven, that's 19. And this number is not, not terribly close to, to one. So Apparently this code could be shortened a bit in various ways. And how could we do that? Well, for instance, we could <coughs> uh, try to get some of these uh, code, uh, codes, uh, code words of length three and uh, make them, uh, turn them into code, length, uh, code words of length two by moving some of these uh, uh, edges down here. We could also just say, let's get rid of these two here, so we just have the code word uh, two. Can we do any better? Um, possibly, but it looks pretty good now. So we've taken the code length, uh, the third one of length three, and uh, substituted it with one of length two. And in this sum here, that would be to remove one of the code words of length uh, three, so now we've got six of them, but we also have now two of length one, and hopefully this should give us the 27, 27ths. Let's see whether it does. We now have two lots of nine twenty-sevenths, so that's 18, plus the third, uh, or three of the 27th, so that's 21, plus six, and indeed that does give us all 27, 27ths, so we get one from this fraction. And that reflects that this is actually a best possible code in the sense that the average length is minimal. And so we've shortened, shortened the code rather nicely. Now in the final part, in part D, we're again looking at Radix 3 and we have some code word lengths. Now my guess is that we can't construct this, uh, a code with these param parameters, because in part C we had a code that or well, we had parameters uh, for which we could construct a code. So I'd expect the answer to be, no, we can't construct it. So there are two ways of answering this. Uh, we could either try to construct it and see that it won't work, or use the kraft macmillan theorem and uh, quickly find it out algebraically. So <coughs> let's first have a look at the kraft macmillan approach. That's where we take these two here, for instance, two over three to the power of one, plus and then we've got two of these, three to the power of two, plus and then we've got four over three to the power of three. And this sum has to be less than or equal to one if we are able to construct uh, instantaneous code with these code word lengths. And my guess is that this will not be less than or equal to one. Let's see. Uh, four, <coughs> uh, four uh, uh, twenty-sevenths. That's uh, three twenty-sevenths plus an extra one. Three twenty-sevenths is just one ninth, which together with this gives three 
ninths, which is a third, which together with these two gives us one. In fact, we're just left with one plus one of these initial terms, and that's, of course, strictly greater than one. So by the kraft macmillan theorem, we see that we can't actually construct such a, such a code. So there we go. Now, if we were to try to construct a code like this without using the kraft macmillan theorem, then we'd just go ahead and try to construct it and see what happens. So here we're constructing a code. There's the first code word. For the second one, we have just another symbol. We're quickly, we're quickly running out of options here. So you can sort of see that it's not going to it's not very plausible that it will work, but here are the next two, so two zero and two one. Then we need a bunch of threes, so here we could take two and then we've got three branches from this. Zero, one, two. So two, two, zero, two, two, one, two, two, two. That takes care of the first three code words of length three. But we still need this one here. And there's no more room to add any branches. We'd sort of have to add a fourth, but we can't do that when we've only got three symbols to deal with. And if you look at that, that corresponds exactly to the, the uh, excessive, or the excess, one over three to the power of three, one, two, three, that we had in the Kraft Macmillan sum. So in other words, we cannot we cannot uh, construct such a code uh, having those parameters. And there we go. Thank you very much.